Hey YouTube, it's Jenya, and today I wanted to make this big announcement, and this is something that I'm going to do, and I'm really excited for it. I, um, as you know, have a Sephora Blockbuster palette that I bought back in 2008, and even though it's 2011, I barely have used the thing, and I, you know, I feel really bad because the thing traveled to Russia with me and back, and, you know, I never got any use out of it, so I decided that I'm going to start a 30-day Sephora Blockbuster challenge to use up the products that I have have in the palette and you know we'll see how long they last and we'll see how much um, you know how much I will get out of it so basically if you don't know what a Sephora Blockbuster is I'm going to show you and uh, here is mine so it comes well, let me close it up for you. So it comes in a box like this, and I know Sephora comes out with these every year, and the year that I bought mine, it cost about $40, and it still says Sephora on it, and though the writing is kind of faded away. I, back then, uh, back in the day, I had a girlfriend who worked at Sephora, and she had a 20% employee discount, so this only cost me about $30, plus tax, whatever the tax was in New Jersey. That's when I lived in New Jersey, and it comes with, um, well, it has this little protector piece on top, so, you know, take it off, put it back on, whatever, if you like the plastic, keep it, if you don't, then toss it. All right, and um, on top, you have the eyeshadows. I don't really know exactly how many you have, three, six, seven, so that's 14, Two, three, four, five, six. So 14 times 6, 60, 6 times 4, 84 different eyeshadows. Some of them are, um, some of them are dry, some of them are creamy. Um, what I use creamy eyeshadow for is I use it as my foundation. So I'm not going to use my Art Deco primer at all this, um, this next month. Um, and uh, well let me talk about the Sephora Blockbuster palette first and then I will show you the products that I'm still going to use which were not in the palette because the palette does not have everything it's funny how you can see my hand moving in the mirror I was just too tired too lazy to cover it up so anyways these are all different colors that it has and you can see that some of these have like been untouched this one just has a smudge because I think I dug my nail through it alright then you open it up like so and uh it has the lipsticks and the lip glosses. Again, there are some on this side, there are some on the other side, and some of them are pretty cool, and some of them are, you know, not so cool, so whatever. We'll see what happens. We'll see how they go. Most of these are pretty wearable. And then the last stage, you have a, uh, you have some blush, you have a bronzer, highlighter, one, two, three blushes, and this I use as my um, pressed powder. And then it comes with, like, all these different little trinklets um there is these are lipstick brushes that do not work i don't even know why i kept them in here this is a lip liner which is not my color with this is an eyeliner which i don't use because i don't use pencil eyeliners i only use gel eyeliner these are the two brushes this one has been like se severely damaged oh well I'm, i think i'm just gonna you know like take it all out and then these are some applicators whatever so these are pretty cool things this is the blush I'm wearing today. It's like this brick red. And then this one is a very translucent pink. So it doesn't come out as pink as you think on your skin and so on. All right. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to be using for a month. And um, well, we'll see. Maybe I will want to use it for later. I will show you some other things that I'm using together with it. So I'm going to close this for now. If I can just figure out a way how to do this without damage and making any further damage and I'm just gonna take all these things out of here just for convenience and I'm sorry I'm wearing my husband's shirt and some slippers today but I promise I will do an outfit of the day later because I'm going thrifting today and so I'm going to uh, show you what I get. Anyway, so the other things that I'm going to use with this palette are the Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner in uh, black. Black is black with the brush it came. I'm going to use some of my own makeup brushes, which I have. Then this thing, you're probably going to wonder why, like, why the hell am I using this? This is a tool which you normally would use for your nails. Let me put it over here. So basically, this is the cuticle tool, but I'm going to use it to um, 
dig out the creamy high shadows or the lip glosses because that is the easiest way because those brushes don't work and though it does sound kind of brutal it is what it is now for my uh, foundations and stuff I want to try and use up my Rimmel match perfection and this was bought in russia so this has a pump which i really enjoy because i know that in america not all rimmel products come with a pump the other moisturizer that this is the one i'm actually wearing today this is physician's formula healthy wear light to natural because i did see the sun come out i don't know if it's coming back out but um we'll see uh what else is there mascara obviously i'm going to use well right now i have to use this have to use this one sent to me by uh, L'Oreal. I'm doing cons some consumer testing, but I have this one by Revlon. Revlon Grow Lashes. I'm actually dying to try that and see if actually I can grow some lashes. And then I have the colossal volume that I need to use up. So basically, this is what it is, and this is what I'm going to be doing for the next month. And I will try and uh, make some maybe you know like weekly updates or whatever and uh, you guys can see and I will also be paying more attention obviously to my eye makeup and I think this is a great way to help you get out of a makeup rut especially if you have a great palette like this on your hands because I ended up just you know using a lot of my Lorac and other things anyways let me do a face of the day so that when I do outfit of the day you don't have to you know watch my uh, makeup again so I'm wearing the a very light green, gray in my crease, whiter color uh, as a highlighter, and then I'm wearing the gel eyeliner and I'm wearing the uh, mascara. On my lips I'm wearing the little glittery clear gloss and then I have the brick red um, blush that I showed you earlier and then my foundation and then I have that pressed powder that I use from the palette and I do have kind of like Ugh, what are they called? Some wrinkles here on my forehead, which I'm really upset about, but it is what it is um, as we get older. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think, and I will be coming out with another video today because one of my subscribers has asked me to do a 20 questions tag. So I will see you guys then. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.